Yo, what's up, everybody? How y'all doing today, man? First thing first, thank you for your love and your support. I highly appreciate it. Can't express it enough. Real talk, real shit. So anyways, before I start this video, man, shout out to everybody for showing and continuing showing mad love and respect. I really appreciate it a lot. I really do. Um, like I've been telling you guys, you know what I'm saying? I got a lot of videos dropping, a lot of videos dropping. Although I wasn't posting on YouTube, I've been still recording a shitload of videos and I will be dropping them real soon. Just stay tuned. But in the meanwhile, like I said, man, shout out to everybody for showing mad love and support. You know, I really appreciate that a lot. Okay, y'all. So let's get into it, man. What y'all looking at? It's your boy, your man, you know, your girl, whatever you want to call this thing, Jenny Jackson. Now, I do want to say if this is your first time watching my videos, just know that this is my opinion based off my research. OK, so I highly encourage everybody to do their own research. So before you start saying this ain't true and I don't believe this and all it is, make sure you do your own research. OK, so just remember, too, if you find yourself um, buying a lottery ticket or entering a raffle, think about that first before you say, I, I, don't, I don't believe this and I don't believe that. Because if your mindset is you're going to get rich off a lottery ticket or a raffle, then you <laughs> this is just proving my point exactly uh, how brainwashed a lot of us are. OK, and I used to be brainwashed as well. Like, OK, it wasn't like I woke up one day. You know what I mean? And I, I've been this way my whole life. No, I had to see things for myself. OK, so I highly watch. I highly recommend everybody. This is your first time watching this to watch this for somebody. Jenny Jackson is a fictional character. OK, if you ever played a video game, whether it's The Sims, Roblox Now or NBA 2K, these are video games where you could create a character from scratch. OK, you literally can create a character from scratch. You could design a home. You could you could sign contracts. You can go to work. I mean, you could do everything that we do in our life. You could do digital, right? You could become popular. I mean, like I said, you can create a character from scratch. Okay, literally. Okay, um, this is what Hollywood do. They sit back and they created these characters, right? And I know people saying like, "What's the purpose of it?" Right? Let me just start off by saying I don't know everything, right? So I I I only know a little bit of information, right, from doing research. But the purpose will be to push an agenda, right? Will be the purpose will be propaganda, because in order to get us to cooperate, they need to get us to be afraid first, because if we're not afraid, then they can't cooperate. You know, so you need to push the fear tactic to create fear porn. You know what I mean? So if you want to, if something's going on in the world and they want us to go get a vaccine or whatever the case could be, they use these celebrities to help push the narrative. So if your favorite celebrity doing something that you was against, it makes you feel more comfortable. OK, and this is why they give us like Gatorade, Sprite and all these commercials. They just they always got these celebrities because they know at the end of the day that, you know, we don't care about buying a bag of Lay's. We've been eating since a kid. But if you if you celebrity struck or star struck, if you see your favorite actor or actress on there, it all of a sudden make you want to buy it because of seeing a picture on there. If you're a teenager as well, you automatically want to buy it like Prime. OK, so just know that. OK, so when I say uh, Jenny Jackson, she is a fictional character. She does not exist. In fact, the person that exists is wearing a mask. OK, and a lot of these celebrities is African-American or black or whatever you want to call it. They're never a real race to begin with. OK, so th th these are a lot of um, these are blackface. OK, I want people to understand that. OK, so if you got a, a white girl that can sing some good R&B. People are never going to take her serious compared if she was black or if he was black. Right. You know what I'm saying? So what did they do? Right. They, 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 they created characters to appeal to a wider audience. That's why they, they label music, country music, classic music, R&B, hip hop, pop. They gave the genres for a reason. You see what I'm saying? Because the longest they can separate us, the, the more they're going to have fear, right? Because you're going to have white people fearing that black people is going to do this. And you got black people fearing that white people is going to do this to them and to this credit and all this other stuff. You see what I'm saying? They know what they were doing. 
and they created black and white specifically, you know, even though this race goes on with Asians, Hispanics, but it's primarily in America known as blacks and whites. And they create a duality when they do that because black and white checkers, you know what I mean? That's exactly what they're doing because the reality, our skins are not even that color. Our skin are not even that color. And when you look up um, the definition of black, it's basically saying white. So the fact that we are calling ourselves something that's not even in the dictionary is already alarming where people need to wake up on a note to start questioning everything that's being told to them and not believing everything. Okay. So your girl, your man, your boy, Janet Jackson is Paula Adu. Okay. So I know this might sound crazy to a lot of people, but Paula Adu have always been and always played the role of Janet Jackson. So for the people out there that want to question this, because this should be a reason or something you should question. Well, What's going on here? Because you see Paul Adu and you see Janice Jackson here hugging each other. So how could this be? Well, the first thing, if you zoom in on this picture, please understand that the person that's filling in for Janice Jackson clearly has on a mask. If you notice, they're always the same size, but when they are next to each other, all of a sudden, Janet is a little bigger than her, right? <clears throat> and it's the same here. Okay. And again, make no mistake too why uh, Janet got her eye covered up. Like, whenever Janet is next to Paula Adu, please understand that you, for some reason, Janet just always looks so much different. Okay? I mean, she just looks so much different. And they do that on purpose because anybody like myself that's going to call it out, you can debunk it so fast because you're going to be like, dude, there's pictures of them. You, this, this is crap. But these pictures, first of all, are created from the lab. They're photo, you know, they're, they're edited. You know what I'm saying? They're photoshopped. So the, the, it might not even be nobody filling in when they take a picture together. It just might be photoshopped. You see what I'm talking about? And, then, and now they got this app, AI Wonder. They can make all this happen. So again, this is not proof, you, you know, because you phys you, you're you not seeing this in person with your own eyes, right? You're seeing a picture that they are giving us. And keep in mind, they've been beefing for years, right? Squash their beef, start beefing again. Another thing I wanted to point out to people is that also, too, they was uh, doing a lot of mocking, right? Because, you know, the thing is, they say, you know, black people resemblance of ape, right? So they did the movie Planet of the Apes. They put uh, Jenna Jackson in there. And notice on a lot of her pictures with Michael Jackson, they kind of make her look like a orangutan, like a monkey. You know what I'm saying? They did it on purpose because, come on now, like, you know what I'm saying? And then she got her eye covered up again. Like, you guys got to ask yourself that why is she's doing that? And you can't tell me she'll look like no damn ape. You know what I'm saying? Like, why would she, who, what type of woman, black woman, want to resemble an ape? Like, come on now. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on now. They they, they just throwing it in, in everybody's face and people just not questioning. And here, here, here they go again, side by side. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? And they being subliminal because they got Paula with the bane over her eyes, right? But she don't have it fully covered, but enough covered that if you look at it from a distance, it do look like she's having one eye. And that's that one eye symbol. And if you look at Janet to my right, I, it could be you guys' left. You know what I'm saying? Um, you look at Janet's face and again, she resembles a orangutan, a monkey ape, whatever you want to call that thing. It's clearly looked like some type of ape species. You see what I'm saying? It, it, this is not real. But if you put the mask on Paula I do. You get that, right? So right here is very interesting because this is what I'm talking about. When you see Janet in tip-top shape, she's always got Paul Adu body, right? All the way from the breast, all the way to the nose, to the cheekbones, right? Only thing they that they do is they define the cheekbones with makeup. And again, she got her eye covered up in here. She got it slightly covered up, okay? Now, keep in mind, too, by the way, that for people that, you know, that's lost in the sauce, I understand because they program us to get lost in the sauce. Understand that they did this to confuse you, okay? They they want to confuse you. They don't want it to be a walk in the park. Because if you if it's a walk in the park, they wouldn't be able to scare you. Okay? They did this to confuse you. Okay. So one thing that I learned uh doing research or watching stuff is that you can put Usher inside of a fucking Chuck E. Cheese costume, right? If I can see his eyes, I know that's Usher. Because the eyes never lie, y'all. And they do it on purpose because instead of confusing us by just throwing contacts on somebody, you know, because that would, that would throw it off. That make it harder if you, you change Usher eyes, 
you know, and, and give them some yellow contents, for example. You couldn't really tell if he's wearing a mask. You could tell if you wear the mask, you wouldn't know who's under that mask. But they do it like that on purpose. It's like their way of, of, of joking. Like, it's an inside joke they do to us, right? Just like the moon. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We will get to that on another video because I've been doing a lot of research about the moon. Here we go right here. This is Janet Jackson and Michael Jackson, right? And then you got Janet Jackson and Michael Jackson, right? Which is another black and white duality, okay? And I pointed these pictures out because, again, every time she's around Michael Jackson, they make her features stronger than ever. They make her resemble an ape, okay? Like, literally, okay? And, y'all, I, I wanted to just say this, man. These people are not like us. They don't go home. They don't sleep like us. They don't eat like us. They do these rituals. You get what I'm saying? They be in fucking labs. They do these rituals. You know what I'm saying? They don't do nothing that we do. Okay? They're nothing like us at all. And all they do is try to pump fear into us, confuse us, and trick us. So whenever they ready to do their ritual and kill off somebody off their world stage, for some odd reason, they got millions of dollars. They're wearing all type of chains that's worth thousands of dollars. They got all these expensive cars. But we always the ones that's donating to GoFundMe. And y'all should have asked yourself for that George Floyd, right? If all these celebrities donated all this money and Mayweather allegedly paid for the whole funeral and Kanye West, why the hell are y'all donating money? You know what I'm saying? Especially if you can't even pay your bills. Like, what the hell are you donate money for? Like, it makes no sense, man. Y'all got to wake up. They doing it to confuse y'all. So, again, like I said, respect to everybody, and I appreciate everybody for watching this video. And I do want to end the video on this note. If you have entered a raffle and you are buying lottery tickets, just know that that mindset that you got of being rich is the mindset that you really don't want to don't want to have. Now, if you just playing for fun, that's just different. Like, I'm just going to play for fun, you know what I mean, and see what numbers I can hit and stuff like that. That's totally different when you're doing something for fun. But when you playing because you think you're going to really win and got a chance of really winning, <laughs> Question your question your mental first, because I guarantee you the people that don't play the lotto or into raffles, they're going to try to win. They're going to be the ones that watch the video and actually do they research and figure out what they what they see and what they find is supposed to being the opposite. But anyways, man, much love, respect to everybody. May I have a good night.